Is John Woo Presents Stranglehold a good game? No. So, if you only play good games, then don't play it. But if you like giggling like an idiot while sliding down a handrail in slow motion, then jumping onto a dumpling cart all while shooting two desert eagles like they're Gatling guns, then this game is absolutely for you. Hello, my name is Jonathan Rosenboom, head game critic at Tibbs TV, and I must be dumb because I absolutely loved this game. The player takes the role of Detective Tequila, as portrayed by Chow Young Fat. Tequila is a hard-ass detective who disobeys his boss's orders and uses flimsy evidence to justify a shooting spree of triad members that would rival most American schools. The game's enjoyably absurd atmosphere is best highlighted by the fact that the cutscene immediately after killing a massive amount of people is perfectly normal, like there wasn't just a firefight worthy of the boondock saints taking over a few roads down. And I personally can't help but feel nostalgic for these singularly focused titles on balls-to-the-wall action with just a hint of justice. It's like watching your dad beat someone else's ass for once. It's the type of game that included a cover system, but you'll never use it because you can slow down time with tequila time, which you earn by killing people in the raddest way possible. Time extended. Even the menus are frickin' balls to the wall and have doves and bullets flying through each of them. If you're on testosterone replacement therapy and you want to score some free tea, just play this game. It's got balls, big meaty tennis balls that don't have to worry about stupid bullshit other games focus on, like reloading their guns. Because Detective Tequila is too busy dodging bullets like out of the Matrix, except without all of the weird goth shit. Tequila is just one Chinese stud taking on the world. Plus, Chow Young Fat is for a free Tibet and a free Hong Kong. So in addition to the dude rocking, he is also very based. Now, if your inner child is intrigued by this game, it's time to be taken out back to the shed and be beaten with the jumper cables that is this game's camera system. It's downright traumatic, and that's a shame because it makes this game nearly unplayable. Here is this Usain Bolt of a game, except someone's gone and lopped up all of his toes. Sure, he can still run, but it's no longer inspiring, and all you can do is laugh. So approach this game with a fun and open mind, and just don't laugh too hard, or else Chow Young Fat will slow-mo shoot a sign conveniently placed above your head, causing it to crash and split open your skull like a raw melon. With the game standard here at Tibbs TV, I'm Jonathan Rosenblum.